Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video here, we're going to create a pocket management system. So we're both going to do optic detection and also optic tracking and build a system around that so we can have this pocket management. Then we can go in and check if the parking spots are occupied or not. You've probably been to a mall before where you can see the different signs saying how many parking spots are available. And sometimes, like it says, there's 100 available. You go in there and there is no one. So in this video here, we're going to create that system. We're basically just going to have a camera sitting on top. We have some drone footage and we have also in the previous videos, we have trained this model on a drone data set as well. So we can detect cars, trucks, vans and so on. On. So let's just jump straight into it and see how we can create this system. So we're just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If you go inside the new solutions tab, we can see all the real world projects that you can use out of the box with the Autolytics package. So here we're going to use Yol V8 and we are trained this Viz drone data set on a custom model. So you can check out that previous videos where we basically just used the Yolo Hub to train a custom Yol V8 model on that data set. So we have tons of videos, definitely check those out. We're covering pretty much all of it. So here we can see we have this parking management system. Some of the advantages of a parking management system is efficiency, safety and security, and also reduced emissions. So it's really nice that we can have this top view and basically define these regions where we have the parking spots and then determine if they're occupied or available. So first of all here, we have two steps in the process. We need to set up our defined points. So we need to select our points. We have a tool for that. So you can basically just take an image of your video stream throw it in there and you can do the annotations or basically specify the boxes and also the regions that you want to have as parking spots. After that, we'll have a JSON file with all the defined points, throw it into the system and we can pretty much have it up and running with just a few copy paste with Autolytics. So here we can see we just need from solutions. We have this parking annotator. We can just throw it directly into a Python script or inside the command line. It's going to open up a UI where you can go in and do the annotations. So it's going to open up this viewer here. Then we can go ahead and define the regions with these points. After we have that, we can just load in the file, use this very short code snippet, and we have this whole plugin management system up and running on a video stream. These are the different optional arguments that you can set. So we need to keep track of the cars going into the parking spot to be able to determine if it's occupied or not. So you're going to read more about it here, but let's just jump straight into it and see how we can do it. So to start with, let's just go in and actually just pull up this UI. So we just run a Python inside a command prompt, but you can also just have your own Python script. So we're basically just going to copy paste this command. So from Autolytics, we import solutions, and then we can just set up our parking point selection tool. There we go. It's, first of all, it's going to set everything up and we will then have our UI. Then we can throw an image into it. So here we can upload an image, remove the last bounding box and also save it. So now we can see that we have uploaded our image. We can then go in and choose the point that we want to use for these bounding boxes or our zones where we want to have these parking spots. So right now I'm just marking the top right corner here with these individual points. Again, we just need to choose four points and it's going to create this polygon zone for us. We're just going to do it in the top right corner here. Then we can save it, load it in and basically just create our parking management system. But you can choose an arbitrary number of boxes if you misclick some of them, you can just remove the last box. So this is very easy to use. So now we're pretty much done here. We just need the two last bounding boxes. There we go. And we need the last one here. And then we can go in and hit save. We will get our JSON file. We can take a look at that and then throw it directly into our system. So now where we have our bounding box JSON file, we can just copy paste this code snippet, throw it into our code editor. I'm going to use cursor. So we have this Python script here. We ran to open up our user interface. I'm just going to replace it with our plugin management system. So first of all, we need to have our bounding box JSON file. I just downloaded it from the UI and then we have this JSON file just specifying all the individual points. So we're just going to have a list here with all the individual points and then we're going to have a dictionary with each individual one of the spots. So basically it's going to have a list here with all the points that we had from our UI and then it's going to load that in automatically. This is the video that we're going to run it through. So we can basically just see like cars coming in here, parking and so on. And then we can determine how many are occupied or not. So it's basically just going to take the region. We're going to run optic detection, optic tracking on top of it. And then we're going to check if that optic track, so a car, van, and so on, is basically just inside of that specific region. So here we can see one car driving into a parking spot. So let's see if we're able to detect that. So we specify the bounding box JSON file. Now we also have the video file. So the video file is just parking management. There we go. And now we just assert that we can open up this video stream. 
then we need to set up a video writer. So we're just going to save the result as well. So we can open it up later on with all the results as well. Then we need to go in and initialize our parking management object. So this is the only thing that we have to do when we're using Autolytics and we can specify the model path. So in this video here, we're going to use a custom trained one. So in one of the previous videos, we trained a custom ULV8 model on the Vistron data set. So we're basically just going to use that model. Make sure that you check that video out as well. So we just specify the model path here. It's going to download it automatically, set everything up and we're good to go. Now we can open up a video capture, read in a frame from our video file here. You can also just have a webcam and so on. Doesn't really matter. Then we're going to extract the parking regions. So we just have our polygon JSON path, and then we have our JSON data with all the defined parking spots. Then we can go in and do model tracking. So we basically just track all the objects. So the cars, vans, and so on that we want to have included in our parking management system. Then we can just go in and check extract the results. So we should extract the bounding boxes, the classes, and then we can go in and call process data. So what it's going to do here is it's going to take the bounding boxes, so the tracked objects, the classes as well. We can take in the image as well, and also the JSON data. And then we're going just going to check if those bounding boxes are within the specified regions for a parking spot. Then we can display the frames. We can write the frame out to a video writer, and that's pretty much it. We then have our whole parking management system up and running. So we're pretty much good to go now. I'm just going to activate my Conda environment. There we go. And now we can just run the Python script. So parking management, and we should open up the video stream. Everything should be up and running and we have our parking management system working. So now we can see it's up and running up at the top here, occupancy seven, and we have three spots available, which is also correct. So we can see here, we actually have uh, the wrong one up here. We should actually like detect the car, but we can see that our update detection model is not able to do that. And sometimes it's flicking one back and forth here, but it could be because of the region. Let's see at the end of the video, once this car here is driving into it. So this is trained under this drone data set. So now we can see that it actually like detects the van up here at the top. So it both detect cars, vans is definitely better here with the cars, but we can pretty much see here that we have six spots available. So let's just try to see once this car here is driving into this spot. See it driving in here and it should flip to a green one. There we go. And now we can see that now this spot here is occupied. Make sure that you use the correct resolution once you're going in and drawing these bounding boxes on your images, because if they're not, they're going to be offset and so on. So that's really important that you do that. You can test it out on a bunch of different video streams. You can take more specific regions and so on. This is a really hard video because it's pretty far away. Could be that you have closer up. You don't even like need a like full drone footage. Could just be a CCTV camera where you check for it. And again, it can be used for tons of different applications. It doesn't have to be cars. You can use directly out of the box with Autolytics. It's just a few lines of code, as you can see here. Test it out on your own. It's really nice. And you can create whole projects, computer vision applications and projects in just a few minutes. So I hope you learned on this video here. It's nice to create these projects where we actually just combine multiple videos. So in the previous videos, we trained a model. Now we create a project around it that you can use out of the box. So thank you a lot for watching this video here. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, happy learning.